and whether or not you're cold, whether or not you have a cold, whether or not you're not feeling well, we can still rejoice and be happy. Yeah. 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 Because it's going to be all right. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage you this morning. I want to let you know mm -hmm. that no matter what's going on in the world, mm. the Lord is on your side. Hallelujah. In Psalm 118, mm -hmm. in the first six verses, we find these words, and it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, Lord, my Lord. Mm -hmm. for he is good, mm -hmm. because his mercy endures. Mm -hmm. Let Israel now say that his mercy endured forever. Yeah. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endured forever. Let them, let us. Now that the fear of the Lord, let them now that the fear of the Lord say that his mercy endures forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and sent me in a large place. Then finally, the psalm writer wrote, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear what can man do unto me. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you and we praise you for this day, for this good day that you made. And we rejoice. We're very glad, Lord, that you allowed for us to be in it. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for everything that's been said, everything that's been done, every song that has been sung, every note that has been played, yes, Lord. Lord God, for every prayer that has been prayed. Yes. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for your presence in this place. Now, Lord God, your servants, we are listening, Lord. We're sitting eagerly waiting, Lord God, for a word to come forth with great boldness and power. Lord, now give us ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord saith unto us this day. Lord, clean our ears from wax. Lord God, we ask now to take the scales from our eyes. Lord, that we may have eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart to understand. What thus saith the Lord? Speak, Lord, your servants, we are listening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, I'll just ask if you all would just uh, pray with me this morning. As, uh, as I described earlier, uh, I still had the spirit of travel on me. Um, we literally left right from the service, uh, and then we went for about... 10 minutes or so to the repast, grab the chicken wing <laughs> and a piece of sweet potato pie. All right, all right. Changed our clothes, said our loving goodbyes, hopped in the car, and there we were for about nine hours. Amen. So pray with me this morning, church, because I am absolutely certain that the Lord is on your side. All right. And that the Lord is on my side. Amen. Now, now, in our text, we find King David, who is thinking back over the course of his life. And, and we can guess that had he known the song that the songwriter once wrote, he would have been singing had it not been for the Lord. On my side, where would I be? Where would I be? As David thought back, he must have thought back on all the drama and all the trauma and all the issues that he had endured in his life. Now, I wonder if anybody can identify with King David. He must have thought back when he was a young boy and how God delivered him out of the mouth of a lion mm -hmm. and delivered him from the paw of a bear. Yes, sir. And yes, even when all the odds were against him, I'm certain that King David could not have forgotten the experience that he had when he stood before God. Amen. In fact, before he left the battle, before he left the battle that day with Goliath in 1 Samuel 17 and 
37, Saul said to him, Go, and the Lord be with thee. In other words, Saul was saying, Go, and don't worry about whatever battle you are about to face in your life. David must have also thought back on this very self-same King Saul, his, uh, his mentor, the one that he, he, he cared greatly for, all of a sudden had flipped the script on him and got jealous of him and put a hit out on his life. But even in spite of all of that drama and confusion, yeah, yeah, yeah. God still saw fit to allow David to slip away, mm -hmm. to make his escape uh, from Saul in the middle of the night. Why? Because the Lord was on his side. Amen. 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 I can also imagine, church, that King David was also thinking about a time when he had risen up in power as the king of Israel right. with a heart after God's own heart, right. but guess what? He still has an issue. Right. Amen. Still has a Church, surely you remember that in uh, 2 Samuel 11, when David arose uh, from his bed and all of a sudden thought he might go out on the rooftop oh, and just thought he might look around. Right. And see what he could see. Uh, 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 and he just so happened to have come out at the time yes, that he knew Uriah's wife would be out there uh, taking care of her business. Well, Amen. Yeah. And because of uh, David's issues, mm -hmm. he then sought to have Uriah. Uh, 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 sent out in front of the line so that he would be killed in battle yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. so that he could take Bathsheba yes. to be his very own. Amen? Uh, uh, Y'all don't mind if I give you a foundation. Sorry, right? Right. 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 David had issues. Right. Right. Amen? Right. Now, 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 even though even through all of that drama, uh -huh. even after David had suffered God's chastisement and after he had repented of his sin, mm -hmm. King David was still able to sing a song of deliverance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where in 2 Samuel 22 and verse 2, he said, The Lord is my rock oh, and my oh, fortress yes, and my deliverer. Yes, sir. He said in uh, verse 7 of that same text, In my distress, uh -huh. I have called upon the Lord. Yes, sir. And I cried unto my God. And he did hear my voice yes. out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then the earth shook, mm. and the earth trembled, mm. and the foundations of heaven moved and, and shook because God was very angry. Yes, well, now, there would have been a smoke into God's nostrils, hello, hello. and fire out of his mouth devoured, and coals were kindled by it. In verse 20 of that text, David said, he brought me forth mm -hmm. also into a large place. Yes, he delivered me because he delighted in me. That's right. In other words, church, because God loved him so much, mm -hmm. in spite of himself, he saw fit to deliver him out of the hand of all of his enemies. Yes, yes, you see, no matter what we do, and no matter what we've got going on in our lives, no matter what issues we are struggling with in our lives, uh -huh. you see, the Lord was on his side. Amen. 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 And if that means that the Lord was on his side, then that means that the Lord is on our side. Amen. 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 Now I say this because our lives are very much like King David's life was. Amen. In these crazy and perilous times, in which we live. We are living where there are so many people, so many of us sitting in this room right now who have so much drama and trauma going on right now. And I'm pretty sure if I can take an inventory, uh, if I can ask everybody a personal question, and, 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 and not expect for you to answer, but I'll ask you anyway.
way, what issues do you have going on in your life? I bet you somebody would say, Pastor, I'm ashamed to say I got a lot going on. No! 
know that the Lord, he is on your side and he's going to walk with you and talk with you. He's going to move before you. He's going to move with you. And we've got a God who will be your real God. Hallelujah. When the enemy comes in like a flood, God said that he will raise up a standard against the enemy. I stop by here and there and let you know that God in 2018 is going to raise up a standard against the enemy. I can cut your weapon. I form against you. Yeah. 